Hey, my friends at NVIDIA called me up and told me they had some really cool stuff for me to see in VR. Apparently, they've been experimenting with hyper-realistic physics engines, so I'm about to go see what they're working on. Hello, Adam. Hello, Rev. How's it going? Good, good. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. What we're going to show you is uh, what we call VR Funhouse. It's our newest game. It's essentially a sandbox for testing out the various types of physics that we've been developing over the years inside this virtual reality space. You guys gave me a chance to play around in your fun house. The physics, which is the main point of this demo, is amazing. That is really cool. For the most part, it's operating the way I would expect things to operate within the world. I've played around with games that have their own physics engines, and for this to have genuine physics that you can work with, that gets me really going. Oh! I love the swords, specifically the metal reflectivity. That had a tremendous effect on making it feel really real. We have a turbulent simulation, so when you wave the swords around in the air, you can see the confetti swirling around. Excessive latency can make people sick, and specifically make me sick. I have a very weak stomach. I did this for two hours, I didn't have any problem. Do you want to stop and rest? I'm good to keep playing. All right. The latency was low enough, and the, the frame rate was high enough that I felt locked into the space. Dude, I liked shooting at the plates. I can hold up the gun and get the sights correct on the target. I love the fact that as I shoot the pottery and it's coming towards me, the particles after I shoot it come towards me and are still on the ground and I can still shoot them. And you're welcome to use both guns. I think my favorite thing though was the squirt guns. Specifically, when I realized I didn't have to shoot all the way in the air, I could actually adjust the flow. I even notice as I bring the streams together, you guys have built surface tension into the liquid. Yes. I could squirt one stream through another and start to see them interact with each other. There's viscosity and surface yeah, tension. Yeah, that's freaking cool. I'm somewhat familiar with how much computational muscle it takes to model hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of pieces of things as they're exploding and dropping around you. To see the photorealistic stuff that you guys are generating now happening live in front of me, it beggars the imagination how much processing you're doing in the back. The haptic feedback is really critical and I'm totally clear that it's one of the toughest problems to solve. There's some tension. Uh-huh. The handles did this great job of giving me different kinds of vibration uh, to give me a, a feeling of different things that were happening. Oh my God, I can feel that's really awesome. This is better than anything I've seen in terms of the physics of being able to manipulate the world that I'm immersed in. Oh, I could totally get addicted to this. You mentioned you had some ideas on how we can make our game better. I thought the swords were just a little bit rudimentary. The blade you had, if you cut it in a cross section, would be like diamond shaped. It's more realistic to have what's called a hollow grind in which the diamond shape, the slopes of the diamond mm -hmm. are actually concave. What we really want to do is inspire others to create similar sorts of experiences. So we decided to put out all of the source code and all of the assets for this game to the general public as open source so that they can modify it and make those kinds of changes themselves. Maybe we can scan some stuff from my shop and we can Absolutely. put it in. Okay, good, good. Rev, thank you so much for letting me play in your sandbox. Thank you for coming and experiencing this with us. That was awesome.